Hello, my loves. I'm here to do the Divine Feminine reading towards the masculine in the Twin Flame High Soulmate Level connections that are in current separation. Um, I am Rena Wells. I am highly intuitive and a medicine woman. I work with plant medicines like ayahuasca and psilocybin and run ceremonies. So anything you want to know about me is down below. Um, I'm going to jump, just jump right in. Welcome my new subscribers. Don't forget to like and subscribe and my returning subscribers. You know, I totally love you and, um, am honored to be here helping you guys out as you progress on your journey. So a song came through. I had to take a break between doing, sorry, there's a lot of noise and my mom's probably cooking and she's a bit of a tyrant in the kitchen. Don't tell her I told you that, but, um, yeah, so there is, um, I took a break from the Divine Masculine reading. It was very high vibrational, and I went and took a little bit of a break, and then I came back, and Divine Feminine came through, and a song came through from the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine. It's called Bleed Out by Isaac something. I'll post it down below. Divine Feminines, the, your masculines are going through a deep place, so whatever is coming up, in your life right now, it is a place of complete surrender. Okay, you're feeling it. It's dark. This is the transmutation of energy that's happening for divine feminines right now because the masculines are waking up. So it is a deep healing process of success to be able to be successful in feeling these dark energies. And that's not an easy process. Okay. So let's pull some cards and see what is going on. We're going to use the same cards that we did for the Divine Masculine read. And I'm going to get some Zodiacs out, I think, this weekend as well, too, for July. But it'll be staggered. I'm going to stagger the Zodiac reading so you guys can find them um, as we progress through July. And, uh, yeah, because I also want to do some karmic reads and what's going on in the karmic energies so that we are aware, right? Remember, my readings are not to be attached to. Any reading is not meant to be attached to. It is to <clears throat> know what's resonating and validating your own intuition and the energies around you so that you can progress on your path, okay? And that you're being guided by spirit. And that takes discerning of energy as well, right? We don't become attached. We have making a difference. Wow. Well, we're going to take these making a difference. So spirit is saying in the mind space for divine feminine, what you are going through right now is to make a difference on this planet. My inner light shines far and wide. This is a starfish. So starfish, some of you are star seeds. Uh, we have a smile coming in from the heavens being, you know, divine feminine energy, looking down at the starfish and finding a treasure is what I'm hearing. And so spirit is saying the mind must be released in this aspect of surrender to make a difference. We are here to make a difference. Your work makes a difference. Okay, Divine Feminines. Um, do not doubt that. That is the mind space of the Divine Feminine right now. In the heart, we are giving birth, my Divine Feminines. I am birthing forth new and dynamic energy in the world. Now look, this is intense. If you guys have given birth, you know that is an intense process. It is a life transformation when you give birth. Pregnancy is one, but when you got to push a baby out, that's a whole other <laughs> experience, right? So look at how she's in the womb. So divine feminine, you may have been in a cocoon and have, and, and here's spirit trying to guide you out is what I'm getting out of this cocoon. So divine feminine, this is the surrender piece because divine masculines are going through it right now is also to be ready to birth yourself. Okay. That's not an easy process. And that's to open the sacred heart again. Okay, now this is interesting. Divine Masculine got a shot. I was shuffling, right? Manifesting dreams. The, the, the same cards are on the bottom that the Maya Masculine. And it's funny because I, they're follow your bliss. This is what Masculine's getting. Okay, we're going to reshuffle. A spirit wanted to just bring this through. I shuffle, but they say it on the bottom, but I'm going to really make sure that they shuffle properly. Look at this. Divine Masculine. Sorry, guys, I'm looking at this manifesting dreams. They wanted, they, uh, this happened for a reason. Cult of, okay, we're going to take it out together. Spirit is saying we're going to take it out together. We're going to keep it and keep it out together. Uh, they wanted it this way. This is why this has happened. Cultivating prosperity, right, in the action place. I was like, Spirit, I was just sorry. I was just sitting here, guys, and I'm like, I like cleared just now and I shuffled. They're like, yes, you did. And I'm like, oh my God, it looks like I don't shuffle. <laughs> 
Spirit's like, get out of your head, Rena. So this is the conversation I was just having with myself. I'm like, is this this really happening right now? Oh my god. So okay. So Spirit's like, let's put it how it's supposed to go because I can't even make this up. Okay, giving birth. They want to show the alignment, what's happening with Divine Masculine. Okay, okay, got it. We're doing it right, okay. They want me to pull one more for Divine Feminine. Okay. They want to show the mirroring aspect, taking a wow. This is how it's mirroring, guys. I can't make this up, okay. We're going to go back. Let's start again. Hi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> This is the magic and the insanity that happens on my channel. We get cards in different places and amazing things pop out and all this stuff happens on my channel. So welcome to the magic. <laughs> um, look at this. The masculine is surrendering and this is helping the divine feminine make a difference in her life. So spirit wants to show these are union energies coming in. That's why the masculine read was so potent, right? So go watch that. It's the one before this. And spirit is saying, it's like from the heavens, right? It's like a star has fallen. Your destiny, your wish is coming through. That's what I'm getting. Thank you, spirit. So this was because the masculine is letting go. You may be purging as well, divine feminines, okay? Just so you know. And this is going to make a difference in your path. This is getting you ready for true divine mission work here, okay? And coming into a place of union. We have here giving birth, listening to your heart. When the masculine listens to his heart, you are ready to birth yourself now. This is real divine masculine feminine energy. Father energy is the heartbeat, is the beat, the life force that grows the grass, that beats your heart, that allows you, you to breathe. It's life force that runs through you. That is the beat of the father energy creation. Mother, you know, nourishes and grows the, the, the prosperity and the womb. Look at this. So the masculine is listening to the father energy of the beat of the drum of the heart and is knowing that beat and the mother energy, the feminine energy is ready to birth something brand new because the heartbeat is going off and calling her. It's like, I'm hearing it like a boom, 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 ready to birth that new vibration. And that process is not easy to my feminine. So if you are going through it, that is what's happening. Don't just think that it's the masculine within you. It is also the birthing process of the divine feminine that's happening right now. And you could be going through it simultaneously as well. But look at this, whatever the divine feminine plants, the abundance of the universe is pouring into my, into my life. And here the masculine creates it and manifests and comes in divine timing to harvest. He knows when it's time to harvest. That's why it's in divine timing. The divine masculines hold the divine timing because they are the ones when it's ready to reap the harvest. Divine feminine grows it, nurtures it, takes care of it. Divine masculine reaps it. And look, this is their actioning this. This is what's happening in your union energies right now. I can't, I can't even, this is, <laughs> what is this? You guys, this is like really beautiful. Cause like, look at this. When divine feminine takes action in her world, I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. She's running for mission. She's doing her work. She's getting in deep. She's setting those boundaries, healthy boundaries. And she's jumping over rivers and creeks and all kinds of things. And look at this. The divine masculine is doing the same thing, following the bliss, following the alignment. When she, and you're both outdoors, taking action, following, walking, moving into union. I can't. You guys, I, I, I my heart is so, I, I'm in a, like a disability. I, you guys know, I talk. Like, I don't know. This is, I'm like in disbelief. With the, <laughs> I'm like, what is happening in the collective, you guys? I want to know. Comment down below. I want to know what's going on with you guys. I love talking to you guys. Like, let me know what is really happening because this is... <sighs> This is intense, you guys. Some of you are really um, experiencing these high potent energies right now. What is going for Divine Feminine towards the masculine? What is going on with the Divine Feminine towards my And I shuffled this, you guys. So, like, I'm going to show you. Like, there's no cards from the last one, okay? Like, that has never happened to me before. I'm sorry, I'm going to play. God's like, just keep watching. This is how I create the magic. When you surrender to the one God, when you surrender to spirit, to the life force, I create magical 
things. Yeah, you do. Wow. Let's see. This is just tarot. <laughs> what is going on for the divine feminine towards the masculine spirit? What is going on for the divine feminine in the headspace? Ready to take, whoa, ready to take a chance. She's taking a leap of faith in her life. Whatever that may be, Divine Feminine, it may not be towards your mask, it might be in your mission, it might be in a new way of being, maybe in, you know, moving places. It might be, you know, just listening and going for it. What's going on, with Divine Feminine, in her heart towards the masculine? I am working on my inner issues. So, yeah, so she is definitely at a nine. There's a nine number on there. This is a zero. So, this is the fool. I'm sorry for the noise outside. Like, how are people cutting grass right now? Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can close the window. All right. I closed all the windows. It's going to get stinking hot in here because <laughs> we're on solar, so I can't turn on the AC. And I can't do the fan because it's going to be this humming noise. So, whew. guys, what I do for you, I love you. <laughs> I'm thinking about them. I'm with them, but I'm thinking about you. That's for some of you in third party. All right. So let's get back to this. So spirit is saying that, um, divine feminine, you're working through your issues to come into this birth. You gotta, you gotta really dig deep when you give birth, right? Because the masculine is aligning to the heart, to the sacred heart again, and you're feeling it. And you know that something is getting ready to surrender yourself to the divine, to birth yourself, who you're meant to be in a new way. And that is really in a place of, um, not knowing. When you take a leap of faith, you don't know what's on the bottom of that. You don't know if you're going to hit a rock. Like you have no idea. So this is the energy that's coming through for Divine Feminine is to move into the unknown and to completely surrender that. What is going on Divine Feminine? And this is because of the transformation masculine is having. So Divine Feminines are feeling it right now. Okay, that's really what I'm getting. So listen to that song that I, that I felt um, bleed out. Okay, it's really beautiful. And I feel it's pertaining to what's happening with the masculine and the feminine energy at this time what is going on with actions coexist our spiritual beliefs are so different so divine feminine may feel that her masculine has not awakened to the spiritual path um i'm gonna get one more for that <laughs> we're gonna get two more for it ready to defend wow and justice so this divine feminine knows um what's happening in the um energies right and knows about the twin flame journey knows about soulmate and divine counter counterparts and things like that and ready to defend her knowing of what this connection really is because she's planting those seeds and that's the masculine will harvest it so she will defend this calling she will defend her knowing and she will stand her ground and not in the ego way she's always open to spirit you know moving her in a new direction but if it's your person and it's your twin flame and you know that and you've surrendered it and, you know, it's happening. Look, the rebirth is on the bottom of the card. Like, you know, like, for instance, like with my twin flame, it's like I've let go. I've dated. I've moved on. But it's like he doesn't leave. Like I, <laughs> I've gone through so many relationships to know that I know who he is to me. And it's like, okay, I think, and we have to come to a place of being like, I'm okay feeling his energy every day and loving him and not being with him and being completely fine with that and being open to love in other ways. That is a mastery point that's very difficult to get to. That's what I help my, my people with. All right, my tribe. So let's see what else is going on here. We have in the outcome wanting to take action and the masculines of following bliss, divine feminine in the outcome, please spirit. You are moving towards alignment and just what is rightfully yours. We have, there's a third party involved. So you're taking action in your life with or without your mask. Let's get one more on that third party for divine feminines. You're the high priestess. You know, you know, when you're intuition, you know what's happening. Spirit's like, you just keep following your high priestess. Even if there's a third party, you are taking action. You don't care. When you do that, your mask follows the follows their bliss as well. So yeah, Divine Feminines, you're really coming into a place of honoring yourself is what I'm seeing. Um, and it's happening and what's happening and it's paralleling with the Divine Masculine in regards to them coming into union energy. So the masculine's coming into union energies and when the masculine does that means the Divine Feminine is doing something and that means she is surrendering to God. She is taking that leap of faith. She is doing her inner work. She's wanting right justice alignment. She's ready to defend herself. She is, you know, she doesn't care 
if my beliefs are different than my masculines, I know how God has led me. And she's taking action, third party, not whatever. She is leaping bounds, moving places, going places with or without him. She, she's just done. She's moving into a new direction. Really powerful energy, guys. Okay, because remember, sometimes we don't come into union with our twin. We need to remember that their energy alone is there to catalyze you into your greatest self. And, you know, can they work in a union? Most definitely. You're meant to be with your twin. That's sacred union. Can the earth handle it? Can your masculine uh, surrender it enough and heal enough to get to that point? We don't know. That's free will. So we have to let go. And the process of surrendering and letting go is knowing that God has you and you will be fine. You will be fine. You have to trust in a higher power. Okay. This is not a separate thing. This is not a separate journey, guys. This is not about I'm all powerful and I can do this. No, this path humbles you to realize I don't know shit. I don't know anything. I really know nothing. All I know is my God. All I know is how spirit leads me. And all I know is the process to do that, to become my best self. That's all I know. That's all I know. What is going on here with the divine feminine spirit? Thank you. Ah, oh, what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine in the headspace right now? Yeah, not getting any offers. Nothing is happening. So she's taking a leap in her own life. She's coming forward. She's taken off and she's doing what she wants to be doing. What is this inner... This inner journey here, doing my inner work, breaking down those walls, breaking down the defense mechanism, saying, I am not dealing with things that are not good for me. I am breaking that down. Justice, moving into her alignment, defending herself and her belief systems and what she knows. We have the star healing, healing and coming into alignment with her destiny, her wishes, her knowing. Yeah, this is really potent, guys. Manifest, planting those seeds to manifest, cultivating that within herself, knowing that's what she desires here, right? High priestess energy, not caring about third party, seeing things clearly, still being blocked off, but this is a blocked off of knowing what she wants and what she doesn't want. I ain't dealing with no thir third party. You don't know my power as a high priestess? Bye, because I ain't no option. I ain't no option. Like, I don't know what you don't understand. You treating me like an option? I am not an option. I am the goddess and I will own that, right? And I don't care about what you think. So let's clarify. And she's taking action. This is like she's running, not running away, but she's going in a different direction here. Okay. And, and she's following spirit and however it leads her, if it leads her back and they go on another journey and it leads her back, great. If it doesn't, what it is, is it's showing this masculine to follow his bliss. It's showing the masculine reconciliation right? This feminine is very powerful. Let's see about uh, ending this, not getting any offers. Clarify the ace of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. No one took responsibility for no betrayal. I had to deal with all of that, you know, and I had to jump in into a new path without, you know, expecting anything. And this card here, I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to make it work for me, Divine Feminine, right? Divine Masculine's letting go. He's also letting go of certain patterns. It's also pushing you into mission. It's pushing you into your greatest self to take leaps and bounds in your life and to do things that you never thought that you could do. And you're like, I had to deal with my own betrayal, thanks. Seven of Wands in reverse for Divine Feminine. Wow, there's a, there's a, yeah, moving forward with the chariot, breaking your walls and take it off. You're out for the races, girl. You're out. That's what's happening. And um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot of like really sacred feminine energy coming through. We have the star healing, moving towards your destiny, coming out of your own cave. Divine masculine got this twice, waking out of the darkness. Okay. If you've been waiting for your masculine recently, you're like, screw that. I ain't waiting around for nobody. I deserve I deserve, I know what, and not even a place of anger, guys, right? It's not even a place, it's a place of forgiveness. I love my masculine. I love you. But really, if you want to stay with that third party, ew, like be my guest. Because I'm not competition. I, I I make the comp, people, women compete with me. <laughs> like they want to be me because, you know, that's how you are, Divine Feminine. You own that energy. And it's not a jealousy thing and it's not an ego thing. You were created differently because you are on a twin flame journey. You have a higher vibration. 
that's just how it is. And I don't care if you don't like it, then you don't like it. If you are a twin flame or you are in a high divine sacred union or uh, you have a sacred path of, of love and relationship on this planet for union, you are not like the other ones uh, ever. <laughs> I'm just saying you're not. Okay, people, souls are created in different frequencies. We're just going to go there. I'm going to maybe talk about that a bit. You are created in a different frequency, especially if you are drawn to my work. And it and it means, and everyone is special, but you, that means that you are a leader. Not everybody is a leader. No, not everybody has a big calling. Not everybody, like they want to believe it in their egos, but you know, because this is the hard ass, brute, dark work you got to go through to get that. And when you don't see people doing their work, you're like, oh, you ain't the same caliber. I'm sorry. You can, you can go and like take my secretarial calls, like answer my emails. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying that from a place of ego. And I'm not saying that of a place of putting people down. Everybody needs to know their place. Not everybody fits. And that's how at a leadership position. And if you're, and I, I feel like I don't want to preach here, but if you're a divine feminine, not everyone can be a divine feminine. It's just, it's just not possible. Spirit is showing me nine of wands on the bottom. Persevere with that energy, my divine feminines. Use your intuition. You have antlers here to know what is going on in the energies. The spirit talks to you, whispers what the hawk in your ear. You are a wounded healer, a wounded warrior. You move forward. Clarify that two of swords. Yes, you do. I have discernment now. I know what's good for me. And I'm going to out, out of the, out of the, out of the races. I'm out of the gates. I'm out of there. I'm working on myself. Let's clarify this. So spirit is like divine feminine is ready to take a leap of faith. Whatever betrayal she had to clean it up herself. She's ending the illusions of her life. Whatever has broken divine feminine in your life. It was an illusion that had to break. It had to, to bring you back. That is the beauty of twin flames. They break what you think is meant to be. Okay. Breaking, getting you untrapped. Eight of swords in reverse. They want you to be grateful for this connection of anything because it is shifting and changing you into your greater self. Okay. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> Your divine masculine is shifting and grounding energies right now. He is letting go as well. And you are letting go. It is a mirrored connection. It happens simultaneously. You have to do that to bring in the new vibrations. It doesn't mean you're moving away from each other. It actually means you're moving closer. You are looking at your darkness. You are looking at your addictions. You are looking at what you are obsessed with. What were you overly obsessed? That obsession is real, guys. Are you stalking on, on, on Facebook? Are you doing, you know, where are you obsessed with? Look at the truth. Pull yourself back. There is a new path. This is the hardest path to get to. Okay. When it's the Ace of Swords, it's a Swords of Truth and Communication, but it is the hardest path because it's a double-edged sword. You have to deal with light and dark, right? It's a double-edged sword. And you have to learn how to move in the darkness. Divine Feminine. That's what's happening. You're grounding it. That's what's happening. Okay. Clarify that King of Pentacles. You're being honest. Look at this. Union, foundation, reunion. When you do this work, masculine lets go of the old and wants to build foundation. Temple. I created this, this as an Egyptian temple. The four pillars, okay, of moving into sacred union, into a sacred marriage and a reunion. The truth, communication, is and holding strength is what will transform this okay when you do this work you're the same soul you ain't gotta worry listen they can't go nowhere <laughs> you're the same soul when you shift and you move and you do stuff and they see your brilliance they're like damn damn i'm a fool <laughs> i gotta go get that girl you know and if it's meant to happen in that life god will push that your masculine towards you guaranteed because this is the work that a feminine does it's thunder, right? It grounds. All right, let's see. Divine Feminine breaking those walls down, doing her inner work, right? Ready to birth herself and her heart. She knows she's swiftly moving through the gates here. Okay, do not fight this. This is training, Divine Feminine. Do not fight the dark. Let it fall away. When you resist it, it will persist. 
accept the broken pieces of yourself. I just did a post in the community tab. You may want to go look at that. Break down your family patterns of resistance is what I'm getting. Ending old commitments. Some of you may have to end a marriage if you're in a relationship that's not healthy. Ending your pain. Nine of swords in reverse, okay? You got to end your pain. You got to come out of it, guys. You got to come out of it. The wheel is turning. It's turning in your favor. Now, when that wheel hasn't turned in a while, it can be hard. It's like this. What is this? I don't like this. It It's hard at first, but the momentum picks up with the new vibration and it cleans as this spins. See how the light it picks up. Just realize it's it's hard to get moving, but once it moves, it's like that energy just it, it just becomes potent. It becomes vibrant. OK, yes. You may have been stuck in a while, resistant to change for a little bit. The spirit is saying that wheel is helping to change that stuck energy into a higher level of commitment. You're learning your lessons. God is here. The higher fence spirit is coming in to show you the lessons, to show you that there is a sacred marriage here and you're feeling it, but you're birthing a new. Look at this. You are birthing empress, queen. All right. You are birthing it. You are birthing this hierophant, this sacred marriage, by putting an end to the old illusions and transforming, okay? I can't make that up, guys. Divine Masculine got that too. So here, Divine Feminine, you are to action, plant the seeds of prosperity, of your new vibration. What you want? What do you want? Screw all this other suffering that you've gone through on your journey. What do you want? And you can do it on your own. When you claim this Empress power, she holds that ball, that earth in the palm of her hand. She is a manifester. And when she does that, listen, what's meant for you cannot stay the hell away from you. Trust me. All right. So you're going to claim your justice. You are going to defend yourself. You know your belief system. You're going to plant seeds for your new vibration. You are coming out of the dark. You are healing. Your wishes are coming forward here. Yeah, you're not waiting around anymore. You are not waiting around. You are making your own plans. You may have had an idea of what plans were supposed to be in your life. You're like, screw that. I'm going to let God show me my plans in love, in career, in my life, in my, my finance, everything. And I'm going to, I'm going to, when I invest and I plant proper seeds, I'm not waiting around for nothing. I'm going to action, heal, get out of the dark, and I'm going to balance myself out. And when I do that, this love, a balanced love will come in. What is this balanced love? An offer will come in, spirit is saying. An offer will not come in if you have not balanced, if you are not healing, if you are not trusting God, if you are not moving into the new vibration. God cannot bring you a, an offer of high divin, divinity and high caliber if you are sitting in a place of entrapment. You sit in that cage. God is untrapping you. Whatever you're going through, God is untrapping you. Don't you want to fly free? Or do you really want to stay in that cage? Do you? That's why healing is hard, guys. All right? That's why healing is hard. Because it feels like you're trapped. Listen, I'm going to be running some ceremonies this fall. If you want to really, you know, break open stuff, hit me up. I'll let you know when my events run. And you come work with me, right? Um, yeah, this is, you know, temper. An offer will come in when you temper that. Find the balance. When you reconcile with, with yourself, an offer that will clear up any injustices. We have justice will be made of the injustices. Because you got justice here, right? <laughs> Twice. It will come. What is meant for you, all right? We have here a divine feminine. High priestess energy. This third party energy. Why are you going on about this third party energy, boo? Why are you doing that? You're not going to get a renewal here with that four cups in reverse. Take the offer from God to move on. Who cares? The third party is not competition. Listen, you move your energy away from being involved. That dark energy will siphon and suck and take your light from you. You don't want that. Let your masculine deal with it. Let them go through their dark night. Let them go through their own revival process. That is why twins are here. They will not be. You can't forget your twin. They can't forget you. So... You take that cup of love. There's no renewal here. Spirit is like, you see clearly, move clearly forward. Take action in your life, okay? Open up, let go as well. This is how you're mirroring. You see your masculine's letting go as well, okay? Persevere with that nine of wands. 
right? Persevere. Use your intuition. Be that wounded, wounded warrior. Keep moving forward. Open up. Let go. Trust. Faith in God, guys. Faith in God. Your wishes are coming true. You will gain material abundance. You have to set some kind of foundation for yourself, Divine Feminine, to ground your mission, okay? That's the birthing process. It's hard. You've got to start building up your own platform, blogging, starting your own website. Start, you know, really writing that book. I'm hearing someone has a book of poetry they need to, to write. You're a writer. You're supposed to be writing poetry. It's like Rumi. You write stuff like that and you may be doing it for yourself. That's a message for maybe one or two of you. You need to do that. A comment if that's you. You need to be writing that book of poetry. It's going to take off. Spirit is saying you've got to do this. No more focusing on what he's doing, what he's not doing, what the third party is doing. That's gross energy. That's not divine energy. It's dark ass shit. You don't need it. Look at this. King of Wands with this karmic. I can't make this up. Get honest about this. He is, he's closing his eyes. Look at the, <laughs> I can't. He might be looking at her, but he's closing his eyes. She's upside down. She's a real bitch when she's upside down. She's cold as ice, right? Look, he's not even looking. He's like, I can't. What am I doing here? Why am I like this with this woman, with this karmic energy? That's the energy. Like, do you want to manifest in this? Ugh. No, I don't. Um, get honest with yourself here because you're going to miss opportunities in life. The same thing came up with the, with the divine masculine reading. Okay. So let's take a look, clarify those energies, please spirit. Yeah. Slowly move through your self love. Don't give your love away. So freely divine feminines, it's sacred. It's pure. It's high potency. You got to be careful with where you put your attention. Where are you going to put your attention here? Do not just give it away. Okay. And do not give it to dark energies. Knight of Pentacles, slowly moving through into real self-love, real focus, real mission work. This is going to bring in a brand, I was just saying, this is going to bring in your Ace of Cups, your divine love, who you are really meant to be with. And that is, I mean, it might be with your twin, it might not. Like, I'm being honest, like, like, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say it too loud because I don't want my kids to know yet, but I'm not someone you know, like who's not my twin, but I can build in the rainforest and do my calling. I can do all of that. And it's a close family friend. And I didn't even realize that there was a huge click. And I was like, what is this? And um, yeah, like it's an opportunity. It's, it's better than my twin because remember, you got to realize it's like that energy and it's not an attachment of what it looks like and stuff like that. I was like, oh my God, this aligns to mission. <laughs> this aligns to mission. How is this so perfect? How did I never see this before? It's always right under your nose. And it's like, if your twin decides to stay in a gross ass situation, okay, that doesn't mean that you can't build and be somewhere else, you know? It's not that that love ever goes away, but it's a purification process to come into this place of accepting God's love, no matter how it shows up in your world. That's what's hard with this journey. All right. If you're having trouble, hit me up with a coaching session. Okay. All right, guys, let us pull some oracles. Let us see what else is going on here for the divine feminine. Let's get some romance angels. That's where she's at in the towards the masculine right. She's like, I can't deal with your stuff right now. I love you, but I'm I'm really making some massive changes in my life, like huge. And you don't want to be a part of it, okay? I'm sorry. I love you. So sorry. Goodbye. You missed out. You know. And not from a place of anger either. It's like I forgive you. I get it. You want to be with. Uh, you want to be with somebody who's gross like that? Like, be my freak. Have fun. Have fun fighting the demons. And when you let go, did you not see the Divine Masculine reading? So this Divine Feminine, realize they go in parallel. you got to watch the Divine Masculine reading if you haven't watched it. Because they go hand in hand. When you hit this energy, Divine Feminine, that is what happens. It's union energies. Right? They see that Feminine. They're like, damn, i got to go after that woman. That is a queen in her own right. Yeah. What is going on with Divine Feminine towards the masculine right now, Spirit? What is going on with Divine Feminine towards the masculine? Mm, we got quite a bit here. Huh. I think things are flipping up. Letting go of control issues. I'm letting you go. I'm letting go of all the control. 
she's letting go too so is the masculine you guys are mirroring exactly do you notice wherever he's at in his journey he's mirroring the exact same energies that you are divine feminine so don't think that you're not working together you are okay allow this situation to unfold naturally you can't control it that's what i was that's what i said in the post too um, we have to go through letting go of our own control. There is an engagement happening. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is bringing in that new energy. It's union energy. Union energy is hard ass, high frequency potency stuff. Okay. There, no fear can exist in that kind of love. So it's not lustful. It's not sexy. It is like the purest love you will ever feel in your life. And, and when that happens, okay that that's when you love yourself in that way you will ascend yourself to being able to accept god's love okay we have here give your relationship a chance work on your partnerships what partnerships in your life right now need healing right you know when you've put your best honest effort in and you gotta face your stuff it's like you know what i have that friend or i have that sibling or i have that you know i try i haven't tried with this person or i haven't owned up where are you not taking responsibility it's time to do that divine feminine because you don't want to where you're going you don't want old vibrations coming in okay we have they want me to take this one first make the effort great love is worth taking the steps to guide that you're guided to take so spirit is saying this work divine feminine it's hard i know it's hard i know my god i know trust me i would scream to the heavens and curse god like so many times god takes it if you want to curse god curse god god takes it God, God loves you even through that. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This masculine will come back when you love yourself and you're making effort in your life to cultivate this kind of energy. Remember we got, there will be when you are not waiting around divine feminine, they're showing me these three cards together right now. Divine feminine, whoops, divine feminine. Okay. With the, um, three of wands in reverse, when you're not waiting anymore, when you are making your own plans, this is not what you expected. It's not what you thought. And you got to move into a different direction and offer will come in. Okay. There will be effort made when you do that. When you do this work, romantic feelings, past life connection. Okay. Your feelings are real. So it's not like your feelings for your masculine aren't real. They're real. They're there. The love is real guys. It's real. It's not an illusion, but you can't play in that vibration anymore. This is a past life. You have known each other before. You guys have been trying to do this over and over and over. And I love how these couples here, look at this, are embracing each other here. You guys are doing this in the energies. You know the love is real. Accept the love. You don't have to push the love away. But let the love purify you. I'm sorry for that. Someone's hammering now. Let the love purify you. That's like spirits like drilling that into your head. Let the love purify you. <laughs> Let me just pause that for a minute. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to just finish up the reading because I mean, it's the weekend. This is why I don't usually do readings on the weekends because people are home and there's all kinds of people doing stuff. The neighbors are power washing your house now. So <laughs> I'm going to just get some messages. We're going to close it off. I'm not going to do the other cards because I want to just it's just it's just it's a power wash so things are purifying in a really powerful way okay guys that that dirt and that guck is being lifted off divine feminine and your union okay what is going on here what messages from for the divine feminine please what is going on for messages the divine feminine towards the masculine please Messages to divine feminine towards the masculine. Take it as it resonates, guys. We've got quite a bit. Okay, so I'm sorry for that. I will try to drown out what I can. I'll edit the video and drown out what I can, okay? All I can do is pray and surrender to a higher power. That's right. That's right, divine feminine. That's all you can do, okay, is to surrender to that higher power. The, it worries me when I can't feel you. I'm starting to learn to take care of myself in these deep places of abandonment. Exactly. And that's that birthing process. Okay. We try to intuitively attach the masculine, talk to them, do all these things, but you can't be attached in the 5d either. Whatever attachment is attachment, right? 
you have to move on in your life. You have to move forward. You got to allow that energy to push you into your greatest self, right? That's what it teaches you to do. Masculine energy. I am doing my best to trust our love and not listen to outside influences. It's very challenging for me to stand in my truth. And this is what you've got to do, Divine Feminine, within yourself. Your masculine is talking to you on the inside that you've got to do this as well, okay? Our love has taught me to feel again. Thank you for being you. Divine Masculine. I don't reach out because you make me weak. I know the love we share would consume me. I need to be whole and strong in myself so that I don't lose myself in this powerful love. Please understand I want to be your match in all ways, okay? So this masculine does not want to be in a codependent situation with you. That's why he's healing, okay? Please know every night you are my last thought and my every more and every morning my waking desire. All right, guys, that is your reading. Sorry for the noise. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm sending you so much love. If you want to work with me, all the info is down below. Bye.